welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. If you're just joining, well, you are on time for Entertainment Thursday because this is the first interview of the day. I am joined by Masika Masika. Karibu sana Masika. Asante na shukuru. Ah, uh, to Masika, ikona nini na gospel na, you know, <laughs> good music. Okay, Masika is my maternal, my paternal name. Mm. ni ya babu yangu na oh. uh, babu yangu nikiangalia sana alikuwa na blessings so that's why nili retain jina yake mm -hmm. na nimeona ikifanya kazi Ineika. so nikasema juu alipata <laughs> blessing ya masika moja acha nijiita masika masika ndio zikuje double zikuje double, double blessings <laughs> okay <laughs> njoni muuliza because we also know masi masika you yeah, know and yeah. it's a good so it's mm. a good name to be associated with anyway mm. uh, tuambie about music yako mm. tuambie the latest song ya umetoa Okay, music nilianza 2015 mm -hmm. kwa university mm -hmm. it's a music is a passion and it's also a ministry so nilianza 2015 na uh, so far mm -hmm. I've done 23 songs but nimefanya album moja mm -hmm. ambayo ni video my latest song ni Amani Kenya wimba ambao nilimba time election so unajua okay. kwa election Kenya Mm -hmm. kuna kiti kimoja ambacho mm -hmm. watu kiangaza sana so nilimba na i think amani ilikuwa i thank god for that ilisaidia ili watu walimba wali wali walisikia walisikiza na wakaisema okay, ikakuwa na kutukakuwa na amani ah oh, all right yes. na mm. it time what are you saying to mm. to kenyans about also peace kumekuwa na a lot of you know mm. um clash not really clash but mm. uh dispute kidogo tu okay kila ambacho naweza imiza wa Kenya mm -hmm. najua politics is ab about personal interests sisi wananchi usipojikaza ama jikuamua we mwenyewe at the cost of the day hata ukienda kuandamana mm -hmm. kama ujaenda kutafuta yeah. au utapata chakula mezani so mm -hmm. what i can advise Kenyans najua tunaopenda wanasiasa na most of the time wanatutumia but mm -hmm. tuangalie kukiwa na vurugu katika inji ya Kenya. Unajua hatuna inji ingine. Kenya mimi kwanza ndiyo baba yangu na ndiyo mama yangu. So, mm. tukiwa Kenya tunabaki an orphan. Na mina semanga most of the time, hata mnipe fair kuwa ama Kenya. Auhami. Ni, nitakula yo fair. <laughs> <laughs> because, napenda inji yangu. Na yeah. tukiwa na vuruku ama vita most of the time, tunaribu uchumi. Because at this moment, it's not a regressive exceptional curve. Mm. So, unajua Eh, uchumi ikiwa mbaya sisi wananchi ndio tunaumi tunaumi hakuna siku mwana siasa ataumia so tudumisha amani tupendane jirani yako ndiye anaweza kusaidia by that the cost of the day mm -hmm. so usipige jirani kwa sababu ya njia moja ama nyingine kwa sababu ina tutawanya mm -hmm. na hii ni mambo ambayo inakuja baada ya muda wa miaka mitano kama unaona mtu ambao umechagua hayuko sawa mngoje you are the hr miaka 5 ishe <laughs> Urikuruli the best candidate yeah. Then umuingize ya pale okay. But kukua na vurugu I think inatu Inaturulisha Tumiza nyuma kabisa. Na tuhami Kenya yu tumesema Atuwezi yenda <laughs> <Tuwende wapi. laughs> so, so. Asante Wacha mungu wa itue mungu mm. Iyo ni imbo yako ingine e, Wacha mungu wa itue mungu mm -hmm. Ni wimba ambao nime launch album yangu ya kwanza Na ito wacha mungu wa itue mungu oh, That's the album The album, the name of the album Kwa sababu hii maisha bila mungu kila kitu kitenda sege mnege Ukwele. kwa sababu hata uh -huh. kuingia KBC kwanza acha ni shukuru ni wacha Mungu aitwe Mungu because we have yeah. got millions of songs uh -huh. na watu wengi wanawatafuta si ni ukweli uh -huh. most of the time mimi KBC nilikuwa na na watch but size na shukuru Mungu niko hapa so bado wacha Mungu aitwe Mungu Aha. kwa sababu si rahisi i think mnapata request mingi za waimbaji na it doesn't mean that i'm the best of the best kuna watu wanaimba zaidi kuniliko mm -hmm. but na nyenyekea kwa ile kitu ambacho Mungu amefanya katika maisha yangu to give me this chance mm -hmm. for uh, unajua this is a national platform na najua watu wengi wananitazama na KBC kwa kila mahali so nashukuru Mungu na wacha Mungu aitwe Mungu kwa sababu amenitendea mengi hata mm -hmm. kuishi tu even if unaweza kosa hela fedha rafiki lakini Mungu akupatia huo uzima. Unajua Mungu akikupatia uhai ina maisha ya kwamba kuna jambo ambalo anatazamia utimize. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kuna yule ambaye ako na hela ako eh, hospitalini. Kuna yule ambaye ambaye ako na pesa mingi lakini hana amani. Si ni kweli? So 
ukiona Mungu anakupatia uzima katika maisha yako mm -hmm. mshukuru katika kila jambo kwa, yeah. kwa sababu ingekuwa tunanunua maisha sidhani kama kuna mtu angeaga dunia <laughs> si kweli <laughs> most of the time ukiona mtu akiaga pesa hutolewa hapo kama tungepewa chance ya kumrudisha tungemrudisha but kwa sababu hayanunuliwi mm -hmm. mimi hata kama sina wanasema uacha Mungu, Ait, aitwe mungu. mungu so it's in mm. the little things unjua mtu anaweza fikiria ah mm, mm, hata ninue gari ndio mm, sema mungu aitwe mungu mm, yani mm, uone uko na uko blessed mm, lakini mali huko unasema angalia the little things na mungu zenye mungu anafanya mm. kitu ya kwanza tu ni ule uhai mtumikie mm -hmm. because mi, mi na juanga ya kwamba ukiwa katika lens za mungu atakuchagua okay. na akikuita itika God is so faithful mm -hmm. kwa maisha ya mwanadamu. Ukimtumainia hawezi kufail. But ukipata ama ukiridhi kitu kwa njia ambazo si zake haziwezi kuwa long lasting. Okay. Lakini ukizichukua kupitia kwa njia yake zitakuwa za kudumu. Mtadamu kabisa. Mm, kabisa. Okay, mm. Yesu ni inue. Ini nyimbo uliimba tunalala watoto wako hapo. Hebu <laughs> tuambie kuhusu Yesu ni. Eh, eh nimeimba wimbo inaitwa Yesu ni inue. Mm kwa maisha ya mwanadamu ni Mungu ambaye anakuinua na pia nilichukua watoto niimbe na watoto kwa sababu most of the time watoto wako wangi kichwa ngumu <laughs> <laughs> so niimba na watoto because watoto wako wangi kichwa ngumu kichwa ngumu naweza ukakusumbua unaelewa uh -huh. na ukiangalia most of the time uh -huh. hii ministry unajua mimi nitazeeka Mm -hmm. na naenda miaka inaenda mbio sana unaona so mm -hmm. nikizeeka ni, kwa hiyo ministry nitakuwa nimepanda nini unaona so niko nao watoto wanaitwa taji i train them mm -hmm. na tunafanya nyimbo nao so nikaona ni vizuri kufanya na mtoto mdogo kwa sababu ukimwambia tunakutana kesho tufanye mazoezi hata angalia vitu zingine lakini nikikwambia wewe excuses unaweza nipatia kama milioni lakini watoto si ndio wanasumbua kwa sababu kishafika atasema njaa wao hmm. nimechoka sasa njaa nayo mimi ujipanga unajua mtoto ukimpea <laughs> sweet hata moja tu kutoka asubuhi hadi jioni anaweza kaa na hiyo sweet uh -huh. lakini mtu mkubwa atasumbua atakusumbua <laughs> na kuna message na nadhani niliona kwa hiyo <laughs> wimbo kwa chini hiyo hiyo fans ama <laughs> wenye walikuwa blessed na the song <laughs> wakisema yenyewe ita I don't remember the exact word but it inspires the generation yeah. the, ch the children now. Yes. What do you think how did that make you feel? Ina inspire watoto kwa sababu unaona wale nilianza nao 2019. Mhm. Mm Sasa hizi si, si, wengine wanazaliwa. So wakiona tumefanya mm -hmm. wengi wanakuja kwa hiyo ministry. Na ukiona wanasema anga mtoto umleavyo ndivyo akuavyo. Mm -hmm. So akiwa katika hiyo ministry akiwa mtoto mdogo unajua in future bado ata maintain kuwa ndani ya Yesu. Mm. So that's why nilisema acha ni maintain hao watoto na wako na vipaji very soon. Okay. Utaona mambo yao makuu. Kuna wenye umeme una mentor sasa hizi kuna wale na mentor, kama, mm -hmm. kuna wale niko nao ni dancers, naitwa mm -hmm. Generation of Christ dancers wanacheza pia. Okay. I think umeona kwa imbo ya amani wanacheza. Yeah. Unajua Mungu atakuangalia talanta yangu si ya kibinafsi. Mm -hmm. Wacha nipeane kwa sababu najuanga Mungu alinipatia that creativity I can create many things kama shairi, nyimbo. Mm -hmm. So wanaandikia mashairi. Lakini kucheza nayo unajua Mungu hawezi kupea zote kucheza nayo. Hapo <laughs> <laughs> ni Mungu alisema so, umetosheka na nyoko nayo. Eh, <laughs> Ndio nikaleta hawa kucheza unaona hata kwa jimbo wanajaribu kunishika mkono na na dance kidogo na jikaza. So nikasema acha yeah. ni wanache. Nikisema naenda kutoa wimbo sitakosa dancers. Nikisema nataka kutoa unajua kufanya collab kama saa hizi kuna mwimbaji ambaye nikitoka hapa naenda kuonana naye. It's mm. a process. Okay. Unaona? It's a, it's a long process mm -hmm. na ni lazima ufuate ukue consistent mm -hmm. lakini watoto nikiwaambia kesho tunatoa wimbo they will ju just come just... so the availability matters a lot okay. so nikiitajao dancer they will come mm -hmm. nikiitajao watoto anytime tutakutana nao okay. na tutaweza kufanya huduma pamoja mm -hmm. so yes. mm -hmm. una mentor as they also wanasaidia pia hapa kwa sababu they are cooperating <laughs> they, they are cooperating by the way orani saidia okay kuna nyimbo sema hapa sasa hizi talanta sia si yako mwenye si kibinafsi yako kibinafsi hebu expound on that because mtu atasema ah si ni talent yangu acha mimi nifanye vile ninataka talanta si kibinafsi kwa sababu mm. ukiona nikitoa wimbo si ikange kwa ufa kwa nyumba nisikize ama niweke kwa earphones mm. wanaweka youtube mbona mimi naweka youtube mm -hmm. ndio watu wengine wakaweze ku 
kutazama unaona mm -hmm. na through those songs hata kama niko na mashabiki wachache kuna watu ubarikiwa na nyimbo zangu that's why nasemanga talanda si yako kibinafsi na ukiwa na hivyo jaribu kushare mhm mm tumeelewana kwa sababu sasa hizi kuna watu wako pale wanakuwa mimi nasemanga siku Mungu atanitoa mahali moja aniweke kwingine kuna talents mingi ziko mitaani nitaweza kugawa Mm -hmm. kwa kadri ya uwezo wangu ambao niko nao nianze kusaidia mmoja atoke mahali moja hadi pengine okay. at least ainuke unaona but nikisema ni ya kibinafsi nitaweka youtube na nikuwa na watch peke yangu mm -hmm. but Mungu anaangalia kila ambacho kiko ndani yako kama uko na ile ya kugawa kitu Mungu anakubariki kwa Hai. uku Okay. Yes. Asante sana Masika. Wacha tuchue uh, break kidogo mm. alafu tutarudi. We taking a short break and then we'll be coming more uh, back with more of course on Entertainment Thursday. with masika masika still masika yes yeah just before uh, the live mm -hmm. um, interruption mm -hmm. what you were telling us about uh, your song and your member now to yes and now so how do they feel when they sing themselves on tv when i'm quite interested then uh, is a way of evangelism mm -hmm. you at what i call on your channel then we can use it at a ulem doga and on a piano is a fanya so mm -hmm. to recruit to ink so there are more than 40 hata kwa manage na kuanga kazi ngumu lakini kama ni huduma ni kasi rahisi mm -hmm. so unaweza kuifanya okay yes sasa so, so, to mm. be about kwa all of the songs that you have had mm. which is the best song that you've done according to you najua zote unasipenda lakini which is the best one napenda zote njua kwa na watoto kama hizo nyimbo zenye nimetoa video ni saba kwa na watoto saba eh na ni wako mm -hmm. Hakuna mwenye utapendelea. So, to... so zote ziko sawa mm -hmm. na zitreated the same kwa sababu okay. ziko na ujumbe eh, mm -hmm. tofauti. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Kila wimbo nimefanya ku represent eh, different message. Mm -hmm. So zote ziko sawa kwangu. Lakini mashabiki hao ndio wanajua ila anaipenda. <laughs> okay. Eh, yes. Ni wimbo gani ushipata shabiki ama viewer wameiongelea sana. Wameiongelea sana. Wacha uitwe Mungu. Wacha wito basi hiyo lazima utatumbia chorus tusikie basi sawa <laughs> niimbe chorus eh uh -huh. wacha uitwe mungu tu wewe ni mungu mkuu mm. mm -hmm. wacha uitwe mungu tu wewe ni mungu mkuu mm. haulinganishwi yawe mm. haufananishwi yawe haulinganishwi yawe haufananishwi yawe Wow. wow, amazing, amazing. Mm. Kuna so. artist that mm. I interviewed last week. Yes. Na kwana muuliza about the gospel industry mm. in Kenya. Mm. Uh, the way people have been saying that the gospel industry mm. has died and what not. So yeah, aliniambia aje. Mm. Very interesting. And so it's the business in the gospel industry that has died, but the gospel uh, industry can never die. What is your take My on that? My opinion, mm -hmm. kuna vitu mbili different. Kuna gospel industry na gospel ministry. So gospel ministry mm -hmm. ni huduma ndani ya Yesu yezi isha. But industry from the word industry. Mm. Najua industry ni vitu zenye mchanganyiko wa vitu mingi ambazo zinafanya jambo mm -hmm. moja kutoa the output. Unaona? So iko na tazamio fulani. So ukiwa kwa gospel industry ndio umeona unaonanga most of the time mtu anakuja moto unawaka unazima kwa sababu kwa kwa industry mm -hmm. najua most of the time kama hizi nyimbo zenye nimefanya kwa sababu niko kwa huduma zina ni garimu hela mingi but nikiambia shabiki wangu sijaweza kupata hizo hela na bado naendelea kufanya ni kwa sababu niko kwa huduma mm -hmm. najua kiniambia wimbo wangu wa wacho huitwa Mungu nakubariki hiyo that's my target unaona so nikiwa kwa, kwa huduma mm -hmm. si tafili vibaya lakini nikiwa kwa industry Ndafili vibaya kwa sababu most of the time utaona mtu anatumia hela mingi kama milioni moja mm. umetoa video mm -hmm. uh, audio ume, umefanya labda 100,000 mm. hiyo ni 1.1 million unaona yeah. 1.1 million unaweka youtube inakuwa na views tano ah inauma 
utajikuta uta, utajikuta useme ama ni mimi nilijiita si kuitwa na Mungu uh-huh. so ukijiuliza maswali kama hayo ni kwa sababu uko kwa industry okay. so utajitoa kwa industry uenda kwa hiyo sekta ingine ndio ujaribu mm. unaona na hiyo ni kumjaribu Mungu ukienda hadi huko inamaanisha unajua binadamu watu na mea pembe ambazo ni za plastic <laughs> na za plastic Mungu kuzivunja ni kwa dakika moja unaona si zote anazavunja eh ah hizo wewe za plastic ni haraka kuvunjika so ukiona <laughs> zimemea unasema ni pembe Oops. lakini za plastic hujui ni za plastic unaona okay. so atatoka katika hiyo huduma naende hiyo njia ingine mm-hmm. at the course of the day utaona fulani alikuwa mwimba mwimbaji but ukibaki kwa huduma ya Mungu haina expiry date unaona mm-hmm. na kwa sababu Mungu hulipa kwa njia mingi si lazima finances mm-hmm. kuenda mbali kama saa hizi mwimbaji naenda kukutana na yeye sijaweza kumpatia anything unaona yeah. na kumu approach mm-hmm. kwenda kufanya na yeye wimbo mm-hmm. inagarimu pesa mingi but kwa sababu niko kwa huduma kwa miaka saba na sijai toka nje ya Mungu ama kusikia siku moja mm-hmm. niimbe hizo njia nyimbo zingine unaona that's why Mungu anani, ananiwacha nikiwa ninakuwa it is a take time mm-hmm. but one time one day mm-hmm. nimekuja KBC yeah. a journey of 1000 miles starts with the single step, step. nimeanza na nitafika okay masika yes. tunataka tucheze ngoma yako moja mm. to, to keep before we, we close the as we close the interview yes. so where can people get you on your youtube mali watapata ngoma zako eh nyimbo zangu mm-hmm. enda youtube search at masika masika official masika masika official, official. na usitazame tu ukitaka mm-hmm. masika agro kihuduma si ki industry Kihuduma. kihuduma spread the gospel Ye, share share subscribe mm-hmm. hadi hiyo kengele itoe masikio mbili hit the notification bell yes <laughs> <laughs> unajua ikitoa masikio mbili uh-huh. hii wimbo yenye naenda kufanya ne, unajua nimekaa bila kutoa wimbo mpya mm-hmm. na nilisema mashabiki wangu siwezi waangusha lazima nikuje na kitu different at mm-hmm. least waone hata hii kitu yenye imefanya masika anyamaze kuna kitu alikuwa ana, anaandaa so niko jiko nini bado nafanya upishi so waketi mezani nitaleta wimbo mzuri wimbo mzuri so kusubscribe ni kufanya ni kuwe mm-hmm. alafu you share to your friends wale marafiki wako hawanijui na mimi wajui mm-hmm. share them It's a ministry. Okay. Yes. Ah yeah. Ume collab na daughter tuambie ni nani unafanya. Yes, it's a surprise. I got you need it. So, so umesema watu kupata masika masika official. I love face Facebook. Masika masika mwema. Okay. Yes. So, asante sana Masika. Kuja. Mm. Uh, that has been Masika Masika. You can find him on his socials uh, mm. YouTube particularly at Masika Masika official mm. and in doing ngoma yake nyetu na uh, take a break with and that will ca- be coming back with more.